Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So here are the grapes. You can see this is just outside my mother my mother in law's house and that's it. It doesn't look so pretty really because last few months ago they had hail. And I don't know if you guys understand what it is. So it's hail. They had hail here so it pretty much destroyed all the uh, the rest of the grapes but they are lucky to survive these ones and I'm going to show you how they look like in my hand right now there it is so it's very sweet and so yeah mm. but it's very sweet I'll show you around. So there. More of them. And ta -da. These ones. Now you see. Hmm. It's very sweet. Damn. Ah. So the last time I was here, I think I was picking some. I don't remember what it was. Um, cherries, and it was our, it was the neighbor's cherries actually. But now they have grapes here, and it's they my mother-in-laws, and those, and those, the see. So I was told that pretty much it will be ready maybe on August, uh, not August, maybe October or something like that. So for now, I'm just going to pick up some something that's ready. Actually, they extend up outside. So it's only one tree, but it has a lot. It has big branches mm. oh mm. so sweet So, hmm. really sweet. Huh? I know in the Philippines, grapes can be a little bit expensive because they are, um, I think they are imported from other countries. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe. Maybe some of them can grow up in Baguio because it's cold there. So right now I learned that summer is the season for grapes. So I don't have to wash them because um, there is no chemical. Let's spray on them. Yeah. Hmm. 
They are very sweet. They're unlike the ones that we buy. We buy in the store. I mean the market. It's it's pretty sweet. And I was told that they are not so ready yet. I only picked the black ones because I know that they are the they are the ready ones. So. The neighbors though. Anyways So I'm going to the garden. Um So you can see that the leaves are drying now because it's summer. Um, I think the beginning of autumn is October, and you can see the leaves are drying. And I'm going to show you some strawberry here. These are strawberries. So strawberries. Is also summer fruit, I guess. But uh, they're not really uh, too much yet. You can see here. Oh no, that's strawberries. Yeah. So the last time I was here, there was um, cherry on the tree. You can see my finger; it's there. That tree there. That's cherry. Um, right now there is none. Oh, hi, baby. Hello. So there's so many cats in this area because that house there, up there, that house, it has so many cats, and some of them are blind. Um, I feel so sorry for them. Yeah, they don't take care of their animals properly well hello baby are you okay are you hungry see there are cats you can see i think they're hunting the fish huh no baby no so they want to hunt the fish anyways that's just just me here in the garden how I'm just sitting and trying to uh, to think it's quiet right now it's um, it's still a little bit cold here in this area um, but it's sunshine I in Paris when we left it has been two weeks of rain but not like the rain that we experience in the Philippines. It's just like the rain that is soaking, not, um, you know, very slow rain. And it lasts a long time. Unlike, um, unlike in the Philippines, the rain is so strong and it lasts days. So, so how are you guys doing? These, um, I had... I hope that no more typhoon arrives in the Philippines because it can be very scary when there's typhoon especially if you live in the in the area where um, it's all it always gets battered by the typhoon um, usually that areas are um, Bicol area in Cebu Cebu uh, was it yeah that area they always gets hammered by typhoon so so yes we arrived here yesterday was it yesterday yeah we arrived here yesterday via um train it takes like three hours no two and a half hours from paris and the, the driving from the driving you um using car will take you another another hour and a half so 
roughly five hours travel but uh it's tgv it's very fast and basically we stop at um the place called x on provost um and then we have to take another um another car ride so and right now i don't have my my baby sha because the baby sha is in the clinic uh, he is having he's getting his neutered so later on he will come and pick him up and tomorrow he will be four months old so and this is my f i think this is my fifth time coming here in this uh, region this is called south of france and um there's so many trees i feel like i'm in the philippines when i'm here because of the trees and all that i'll show you. see so there's so much trees right now i told you that the leaves are drying it's because uh, it's the middle of summer it's august so we'll go there where some of my mother in laws this rose um, plants uh -huh. so usually i don't do vlog here um because there's not much thing to do and but right now i think it's um, it's just the nature to walk around and so so how are you guys doing <laughs> so this is all her um this is all her vegetables usually she comes here and um, if there's some scargo yeah mm. She has tomato. It's not much really, but um, so this is the this basically this is how the land stands from the house. Um, so there are the bamboo trees and all that. Yeah, there is no wild animals here. Oh, it's dark so so yes I think we're gonna to go to the market after I um, my husband will have his coffee and we'll go to the market so maybe I'll do a little vlog there but I'm really I can't I can't really do vlog a lot or take a video a lot in the market because there's many people and plus right now I'm not I forgot to take my gimbal so I'm using my phone and it's a lot to carry and there's so many people in the market of course they will stare at me because why is this girl holding her camera holding her cell phone anyways I'm gonna take a little uh, picture so I'll take a small picture maybe in this area uh, it's nice it's fresh it's refreshing out from Paris because uh, to be honest in Paris um, I know there's a lot of people who loves to see Paris and I can't blame them because I think um, Paris is their dream destination and they think it's really pretty and all that but until you live there you just you don't know so I'm not gonna say anything about it and so yes this is the jungle here I don't know if um, I was, I was expecting to see some uh, wild animals here because they said that sometimes there can be wild animals in this area but I don't see any yet um, I caught some bamboo here I don't know why what is this? so this in that area guys wait I go here So the bamboo actually they don't grow big 
they're just very small thing it's not like what I saw bamboo in my country they're very small so and they don't have a lot of uh, branches I don't know what they call it what they call it I might ask my husband later so I think hi those are that's my husband the blue one so so basically this is where the land stops as you can see there is barricade there and there is a big dog in there this is a nice tree you can make this a christmas tree i don't know what it's called this tree i see you can see that it's not wait i think it's dark there this is christmas tree it's living christmas tree actually we don't have this kind in the philippines we don't we don't have this kind of tree in the philippines there you can see it's so pretty there and down there is um is railroad so um you can hear the car and there is um a small train that passes through i think it goes to um it goes to marseille and nice that area there I'm not gonna go there right now so that's it for today guys i just um give you a little tour in the what's that in the yard here and I hope you guys are doing really well this uh, this day and I look forward to um, to hear some comments from you and if you haven't subscribed to my my channel yet please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video bye bye